Hi guys, in this video I will explain how to use the new Hoodie Professional Wheel Arch Marker which makes um, it a lot easier to make the wheel arches in your touring car body shells. So in this video I'll explain a few simple steps which you should follow to make the wheel arches. So enjoy the video. Okay, so let's start. We have a twister body here mounted on my T4. I've already mounted the body with the holes for the body posts, but obviously we need to cut out the wheel wells. So since this body is painted, what I normally do is I try to feel where the wheel axle is, so where the center of the, the wheel is. You can feel the wheel nut through the body. I then place a hoodie sharp small body reamer at the center of the axle. And I make a hole. All right, as you can see now here, we have a hole for the, the wheel nut. I then remove the wheel nut and then I install the supplied nut that comes with the wheel arch marker tool and we install this on the axle instead of the, the wheel nut so the wheel nut should not be in place then we install the wheel arch marker tool right there make sure there is resting against the body shell and we install the um, supplied setup wheel nut for quick and easy removal of the tool okay we have the tool there now i recommend using a sharpie or a marker of some kind to carefully draw align around the wheel arch so you support the pen against the wheel arch marker like that remove it as you can see we have a nice and round wheel arch marked out we just need to cut it but first, I'm going to show you how I utilize these small markings here on the bottom of the wheel arch marker. You have small lines. It says 10, which means 10 millimeters of height from the floor to this line. So you have 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 different heights for the, the height of the body shell. And this can be used to indicate where you want to cut out your body shell to. So as a starting point for electric touring car, I use eight millimeters for the front lip. So from here on towards here, so I'm going to make a little, uh, little mark here, which indicates eight millimeters. And then I'm just going to start cutting from there. And for the size, normally I use nine or 10 millimeters of height. So you can actually you can mark this at 10 millimeters. It's difficult to see from the video, but I've marked this at between nine and 10 basically on the side. So that's the height I'm gonna cut it out to for the side. And the front's gonna be at eight millimeters. So we got this all marked out. Now we just gotta cut it out. Now this is all cut out, as you could see, that I did with a uh, Lexan scissors. It's all nice and round. Uh, what you need to look out for here is the, the clearance for the body shell. So try to push the body shell towards the car and it should come back out. It should not get stuck on the, on the tire because then the wheel arch is too small. And then you might need to adjust it depending on the diameter of your tires that you're using. So. This is a standard type tire. I think it's 64 millimeters of diameter, if I recall correctly. And uh, as you can see, it has perfect clearance and the uh, tire is free. So um, 
you might need to adjust it a little bit depending on uh, the tires that you're using. I think that covers it. If you have any questions about this tool, feel free to ask. And thank you for watching.